four, three, two. Engine start, one, zero, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler. NASA's Kepler mission has discovered the first confirmed planetary system with more than one planet transiting the same star. The announcement of the discovery of the two planets, Kepler 9b and 9c, is based on seven months of observations of more than 156,000 stars being monitored for subtle brightness changes as part of an ongoing search for Earth-sized planets outside our solar system. Scientists designated the sun-like star Kepler 9. Kepler has, has found about 700 candidate planets. Several of these appear to be stars. We have multiple planets going around them. But we're announcing today our first discovery of a, pro a proven pair of planets orbiting a single star. We know their orbital periods, we know their sizes, and we know uh, their masses. The planets are the size of about Saturn. So they're quite a bit bigger than Earth, maybe about uh, three times or four times larger than the Earth. And these planets are hot, and they have orbital periods of 19 days and 38 days, well inside the orbit of Earth, or Mercury, in fact. So they're very hot, and they're certainly gas planets. The transiting timing method works by having the timing of the planet. When it goes in front of the star, the star dims. So we measure that time, and we measure when it happens again. That's the orbital period. And if that varies a little bit, that tells us about the planets that are orbiting that star. The discovery is especially important because this transit timing method uh, allows us to confirm even smaller planets exist. We ought to be able to confirm even Earth-sized planets exist. So that's extremely important. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Engine start, 1, 0, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets Chamber in some building. way like our own. Our engine. Chamber pressures are building. Solid motors are building. Chamber pressure. 